really thumping right now. I've been trying for a week to think of the appropriate words to say to you. Now you know why I chose Forrest Evashevsky to speak for me. I've heard the, the term great applied to my grandfather, giant applied to him my entire life. And I, and I suppose he was, but to me, he was grandpa. And my memories are riding around on his shoulders. And going into Jenison Field House when no one else was there, and him bribing me by throwing dimes in the deep end to get me to jump in there. <laughs> You're right, Evie, he could motivate. <laughs> My brother was no fool, he didn't do it. <laughs> I tried to think what my grandfather would say to you tonight if he were here. And I know one thing he would say is that of all the honors and accolades he has received in his life and since his life ended, the most important ones were associated with this university and the people who make up this university, past, present, and future. The greatest honor he ever achieved, above and beyond this, was in 1969 when the university chose to name the baseball field John Cobes Field. I can tell you with, from the, the depth of my heart that John Cobes Field is sacred ground to my family. It is hallowed ground. He was an honorable and gentle and kind man. His single greatest achievement was that he helped to raise two honorable, kind, and gentle sons, one of whom is here today. Robert, would you please stand up? On behalf of my grandfather, on behalf of Loretta, and many of you knew her, on behalf of Cobes's everywhere, those present and those unfortunately absent, thank you for this great honor and bless you all.